Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the week that was my yarn adventures catch up for the last week. What have I been up to? Well, I have a few acquisitions for you. One from a craft shop, some from a thrift shop and a couple of finished objects. Not a lot, really. I had two days off and um, I'll talk about that another time, what I got up to on Friday. But we will start with finished objects. So the first thing I have finished is the um, beanie for BOD Hat a Palooza with Laura from Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet. We, this week's hat was a um, unisex hat. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it because... The one that actually came out was in a bulky weight yarn, but um, Crystal from Bagoda had a link to a full weight yarn version. I do not have a lot of bulky weight yarn. I think I've said that before. Living in the tropics is just not worth having it. But I do have a lot of full weight yarn, and I clicked the link and realized I had done that hat before, about two years ago, for crochet for cancer in pink. So I have made that one again and I made a smaller size. I, I, I did it with a 4 weight yarn and then I used a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So here it is. This is a pretty small head so she's looking pretty slouch. It's a very tight fit on me but it is more like a skull cap beanie on me. And the only difference I did was she finishes with a row of single crochet here for the band. And I felt it needed to be a bit longer. So I just repeated this, um, I guess you call it back stitch um, single crochet there for the same number of rows. And then I did a, um, a single crochet row around the edge to give it a band and to give it that bit of length that I thought it was lacking. I think it looks really good and yeah it's a smaller adult um, I do get asked for smaller sizes on my um, craft store but yeah the yarn I used is and it's beautiful and soft and easy to work with I shop my stash and I use slightly more than one skein of Karen Simply Soft Camo Ta -da! and the colorway woodland camo that one so yes it's a one skein wonder and i shot my stash i had a bit left over because i had made thing a dicky um cow that he took to melbourne and i had one skein and a bit left over and it took all of that i really like it and i do like this pattern i do remember it making it a couple of years ago so that is for hashtag B.O.D. Hat a Palooza a make along. I'll just put that over here. I'm actually about to put that down here. So my next thing is for Amigurumi Wars and it's something a little different. It's a pattern Reeves found for me. He saw it in, on Imager and um, and then he followed it through and he printed me off a pattern because he likes this animated story. So I have made I wonder if I can. There he is. Totoro! Free pattern. It's a free pattern. There is a bigger picture of him here. Totoro! And here. Now, mine's not great, but he's okay. Totoro! I made one for the craft store. Totoro is a animated um, character out of a Japanese film that is about um, post-war Japan in a rural community. Now, there are some things on um, YouTube, so I'll put a link to that. It's quite a cute story, and he's very cute. Ta-da! And he is made out of my Spotlight Saver USA yarn grey or silver, I think this one's called, because there is a darker grey and some white. But they're for Amigurumi Wars, my free pattern to go with the rest of them. Ta -da. So today being Sunday, and it was actually a craft market day, and I didn't, I decided not to go. I thought the 
all the weather weather warnings weren't um, being very good but it turned out to be a beautiful day although extremely hot and I don't think I would have coped well because I wasn't that well today so on Thursday my first day off we went up to the Atherton Tableland for a bit of a look around and a day out of the city and we went on Thursday because that's when the craft shop is open the lady has this craft shop at her house and it's called cross stitch cross stitch corner it's like a big room in her house full of everything fabrics buttons ribbons cross stitch wool you name it it's huge anyway i had said i wasn't going to buy a lot of yarn this year but i have a project in mind and i saw this blue in the um Peyton's merino ombre four ply this one and that goes with a project that I've been sort of gathering up yarn for that is partly pure wool in full ply and that blue will complement the other colours. I bought two of those and see this is I'm trying to see oh, this is how basic her shopping area is. It is if I can work out which one it is. Oh they're both it was $6.95 a ball, $7 a ball. Um, there's no colour number. Pantoline, Pantoline Merino Ombre, and there's 186 metres in a ball. So I bought two of those. Now, this one I bought because of the colour, and I bought three because it's really hard to get. Sorry about all the crinkling. Um, this colour down here, and it is big. Um, Peyton's Big Baby 4-ply in this beautiful red. I love this red. But uh, it is bright red. Even in this light, it's bright. So they were $6.95 a ball too, which is not a bad price. The other thing I bought, because I know she, compared to down here, like I probably pay about $15 for a, a Clover or more crochet hook down in Cairns, and she sells them for nine dollars fifty so i bought a five millimeter to put aside for a giveaway i thought a five millimeter was a pretty good standard size and yeah i just thought it's a good price and it's ideal to put in a giveaway box so that was my craft shopping for the day we also visited thrift shops up there because they have some really good thrift shops one of the places we went to younger borough as a very old, long-standing second-hand bookshop, and I um, promised thing no Reeves, I'd have a look in there for a. Um, he's collecting Terry Pratchett hardback books, certain ones, and I'd have a look there to see if they had any, and they didn't. But also in this little place is a thrift shop that is run by two old ladies, and it's their private thrift shop because they raise money for um, Nepal and Tibet. And what I found in there may freak you out a little bit. It's a bit freaky. They had three of them and they weren't for sale, but they, it was a slow day and they decided they would sell one to me. So it is a little head for my craft market store to display baby beanies. So here is the little head. Ta-da! She, she said, oh, $3 will be fine. I actually had a $5 note in my hand and I said, here, how about taking $5? So, yeah, I have other heads, but nothing this small. And I think it'll be perfect for little baby beanies or doll beanies. And, um, yeah, I don't know why I bought it other than I felt bad they were having such a slow day. So that was from there. And we went on to Herberton, another little town that I like because I know have a great thrift shop there and the ladies are really friendly and I was pushing it towards closing time which is 2 p.m because it's run by volunteers and they did wait for me as in they know that if they've got stuff I'm going to buy I'll buy it and they knew they had stuff so yarn they had a mountain of yarn and some of it I would have bought normally just gone nuts but this time I thought no I'll be sensible so first of all, they had this, and I've opened the package, heirloom, 100% full ply cotton in this colour. This, four balls at $3. No smell, 
sealed up in a nice pack. Absolutely no thrift shop smell. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get that because I thought that might come in handy for future amigurumi because I don't have a lot of cotton for amigurumi. And I like the colour. I don't have that particular colour. The other thing was I couldn't resist the bargain with no real intention in mind that if I don't do anything with it in the next couple of months, I'll donate it to the ladies at Crochet for Cancer and they can take it away and use it. There are nine balls of grey out of a pack of ten. Here it is. Ta-da. All brand new. Someone has bought the ten pack. Which that's one pack there. It would have been in a ten pack bag from Wanger out of Knitting Mills. And they've taken and used one ball and decided they don't want it. Nine dollars for nine balls. I think these are close to six dollars a ball to buy plus postage and it is Panda Magnum Soft 8 Ply. It is so soft and it's um it doesn't have a colour name but it's a real dark grey. Uh, there was the same in black and I thought no even the old ladies at Crochet for Cancer don't like too much black. They're 80 gram balls and there are 153 meters in a ball. No smell. No bad smell, no storage smell, nothing. Just beautiful soft yarn at a bargain price. So yeah, um, I do have some Panda Soft 8 ply in another colour and I have to check out a pattern. I might not have enough of the grey but if I have enough I may use it in that particular pattern with my other colour. We'll just have to watch this space and see what I do. But if it doesn't turn up in a project, it's gone to a good home for the ladies where we donate yarn and they take it home and make it. Um, not everyone. They like to make stuff, but they can't afford to buy a lot of yarn. So we're always looking to donate yarn. And we do get um, discounted spotlight for them. And a lot of people do donate yarn for them. And me in particular, I usually donate something when I think they're getting low. So nine balls at nine dollars a real bargain so that was my trip to the tablelands i didn't spend a lot of money and i didn't buy a lot of yarn because i am determined to shop my stash and yeah it was a quiet week crafting wise in finished objects i've been working on a knitted whip that is um driving me senseless i do like it and when it's finished, I'll be happy. But oh, it has been a real test of my skills. And whether I have enough skills to finish it, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, that was it. I haven't really done a lot this week. It's late Sunday night. I just had, We've just um, finished having dinner. I made a curry tonight. I don't know, the boys felt like a curry. I think I made it a bit spicy for me, but they liked it. And yeah, that's about it. Next week is at work, and hopefully Thing and I will be meeting up with our travel agent to organise a trip to Europe and the UK around August. Watch this space. So do you have any suggestions if I was going to make something with grey? Um, I think the other colour I have is like a real uh, cerise pink. Anything you think, 9 grams of, what is it, 185 by 9, 185 metres by 9, probably 2 pink, maybe 3 pink. Any suggestions you think I could make, leave them in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. And have you ever seen Tuturo? Or do you know about Totoro? Like, Reeves is really into Japanese animation. I have made him before, long before Amagurumi was. I've made him smaller. I think my mistake this time was he's meant to be in eight ply or three weight, and I did him in a four weight to get him bigger, and he hasn't quite worked out the white area the way I thought he would. But he's still okay. He'll still sell on my craft store. Let me know if you know about Totoro. So there you have it. 
until next time stay safe stay well enjoy your crafting and don't be freaked out when you see a little head floating around bye for now